If you want to write a first class essay fast, then there are four steps that you need to work on. So the first step is reading research papers. The second step is understanding and synthesizing the information. The next step is drafting the paper. And then the last step is building on your arguments. And this last step is where the top first class grades actually come from. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to write an essay really quickly and efficiently, but an excellent essay using an AI tool called Unriddle. And I've spoken about Unriddle on this channel before, and I'm actually really excited to bring it to you guys again to show you how to use it from start to end of the writing process, because it's a platform that actually is quite unique as it allows you to not only read and understand and interrogate PDFs, but it also allows you to write at the same time, all within the same window. So this is actually quite unique and I'm really excited to bring it to you guys today. So let's Let's get started. Okay, so first step is reading research papers. So you need to find as many research papers as you can or use the ones that were given to you on your reading list. Pick those out, pick out, I would say, between five to 10 research papers. You want to familiarize yourself with the topic and really try to gain a deep understanding as to what the arguments are, what the aims were, what the gaps in literature are, and what we still don't understand about the research areas. Now, reading and understanding research papers can actually be really difficult, especially if you're new to it, or if it's a paper that's just a little bit more complex and challenging. So to help you with this, we are going to be using Unriddle. And Unriddle is an AI tool that allows you to read, write, and learn faster. So you can also interact with documents through the AI assistant, so you can very quickly find and understand information. So let's dive into it and try to understand some research papers right now. Okay, so for this first step, what we're going to do is we're going to open Unriddle and what you can do is you can upload a number of different research papers. And this will be very handy later on and we'll come to this in a second. As you can see here, I have uploaded a number of research papers and I'm just going to open up a few of them so you can see what it looks like. I can also change um, and rename the names of the papers. So here I might want to say paper one, if this is like the most important paper that I want to refer to. Okay, so just make it a bit easy for me to refer to it. So now what you can see is that there are a few questions here on the right hand side, and these are auto-generated questions which allow you to interrogate the paper if you're not sure how you want to first approach it. You might want to understand what antibodies are if you're not 100% sure on their definition and why are there so many in this particular paper. You can actually see here that these numbers are referring to the page numbers where you can go and kind of refer to what it's speaking about. And this is, yeah, it's really clear. It's a really great way of starting off. One thing that I think is really handy here is actually the tool that allows you to color in. Let's say, for example, you want to remind yourself to come back and look at this little section here. You can just leave yourself a little um, symbol or star, which is great. And it's something that you can't really do on other AI tools. So I've opened up another paper and I'm going to say what are the key results of this paper. If you're going to write an essay, you do have to ensure that you understand a few papers within your field before you even begin to build an outline. I love this, it not only gives you what the key result is, but it also summarizes sort of how they came about acquiring that key result using what methodology and what kind of the markers were and what this means and how it was assessed and how it was also um, analyzed statistically, which is all fantastic and a great place to start. The second step when writing an essay is to build on your ideas and brainstorm some themes and arguments. So your first step was understanding, knowing the topic, knowing what's out there in your literature. But the second step is actually building upon that and bringing together groups and thinking in a sort of um, analytical and critical mindset. And this is really where the top marks come from. Okay, so I've taken this paper, which is actually an article, and I've asked about the key themes that I could use in an essay. And the reason why I've asked this is because I want to try to generate some overarching sort of topics that I can then pull out and then kind of form a structure next when it comes to me writing. So it says the key themes in this paper include the creation of a comprehensive proteomic map, which is really important how they generated this map, um, and then integration with uh, the data, the drug response, the use of deep learning to identify biomarkers. And these could all be subtopics that you then go on to develop a bit more when you come to write. So as you're pulling out these themes, the key part here, and this is what makes Unriddle so unique, is that you're able to actually open up a brand new note and there you can start to write, draft, 
throw your thoughts, brain dump. This is something that's so handy because it means that you're not going back and forth from different windows and you're just able to write at the same time. So here are some topics that I think I'm probably going to use as uh, different paragraphs and if I don't then I'll probably use it as different arguments and as part of my structure So the fact that I can just do this at the same time as I'm reading and as I'm asking questions to unriddle This is fantastic and then I've pulled out another paper and I've said what are some future work in this area? Again to try to decipher and understand sort of things that I could speak about and it's given me a really good summary as to Future work in this area could include further engineering and tuning of the technology So that might not be something that you've thought about when you read this paper But this is a good way of kind of bringing together some original ideas Okay, so step number three, this is the fun part. You want to start to draft your paper and you want to actually start beginning to write. And here you want to bring together all the themes that you've discussed, the different topics and arguments that you've kind of pulled out, the gap in literature, the future work, and you're bringing those all together and you're starting to write. And when you're writing, you want to make sure you have a strong introduction, a main body with a few paragraphs within it, and a strong conclusion. You also need to craft a really strong argument and you want to ensure that everything is supported by citations and references and actual evidence from research papers that you've just read. Now, this is where the magic really happens with Unriddle. So what you can do here is you can actually click on this button over here, which generates a brand new note. And here you're able to start writing and actually start drafting whilst reading your research papers at the same time. So this is actually fantastic. So what I can do here is I'm just sort of starting to build a bit of an outline, which I'll then build on and actually start kind of adding more information. So for my introduction, I want to make sure that I'm kind of describing what cancer therapy is, treatment and therapy in the next decade. And then what you can do is you can actually do double plus and if you do a double plus it can continue to write for you but using information from the research papers that you have supplied it so let's see what it said advancements in technology and our understanding of cancer biology have paved the way for these approaches one promising avenue is the use of immunotherapy which harnesses the power this looks really good and then what you can also do here, of course, is you need to make sure that you reference. So you can also reference it by either using the paper that you've got here on the left-hand side, um, or it can suggest the paper for you that this information is included within. So now I'm beginning to write. The great thing about that is I'm actually able to pull out information from my library. So here I've uploaded these number of papers. The more papers that you upload, the more papers that you include, the more in-depth Unriddle is able to go with its suggestions. And so as I said, you can just press on double plus and it would give you even more content. And like I said, you're able to reference them straight away using the citing tool. So here you can say reference, right there and then you can search for the paper that it came from. The next thing that you can do here is once you've written some text, what you can do is highlight some of the text and you can do an AI edit. So you can either improve the writing, expand the concept, summarize, paraphrase or explain it. I'm just going to say improve the writing here because I just, I'm happy with what I've said. I just wanted to sound a bit better and then you can just replace that. So here I've replaced it and I actually much prefer how it sounds now to how it was before. So these are a few small tools that you can do. So you can really get the whole range from reading, uh, taking notes, generating an outline, writing and also editing. So you have the whole sort of bank of tools and resources that you can use whilst trying to generate an essay as best and as quickly as possible. Now, as you can see here on the right hand side, you also have this related uh, tab so these are like related bits of information in the research papers that you have provided and it will take you back to that research paper and you can go and take a look at where it was mentioned, what it's mentioning and you can now build on your arguments. So this is step number four. In this step, you want to strengthen and refine your arguments. You need to really critically evaluate the coherence of your ideas, make sure that your ideas actually make sense and it flows. And here you also want to make sure you're going back to research papers again. So this is something that a lot of students forget to do. When you're writing an essay, you read research papers in the beginning, you start to write your essay, and at the end you actually should really go back to research papers again and ensure that what you have said, the arguments that you've developed, you've then made sure that you've pulled out anything else that can support those arguments that you may not have sort of picked up in the beginning and put them into your paper. 
So for this, what I would do is I would go back to Unriddle again and I would start to ask some more in-depth questions. So for example, I've asked here, what are some methods of studying metastasis? And the reason why I've asked this is I think it would be a good question to be able to bring back some argument and some and develop some of what I've said already in my essay that I that maybe didn't consider in the beginning when I was interrogating the papers in the first place. So here I can say, okay, it can involve examining different cell types um, and looking at communication and biomarkers and maybe this can be a point that I discuss in my paper because I remember in another paper they spoke about biomarkers so here they've also spoken about biomarkers so how can I then build an argument and kind of expand on it using both of those research papers together. And the last thing that I think is quite useful to note here is when you're using Unriddle, you want to think about the kind of settings. So here you can either use two different models. You can use GPT-4 or GPT-3.5. GPT-3.5 is faster, but it's less intelligent. So stick to GPT-4 for sure. And then you can also modify the temperature. So the temperature gives the, a different le kind of level of creative license for your AI. So lower is more predictable and higher is less predictable. So you can kind of change that and that will kind of determine what kind of depth of text and information it gives you. And then you can also modify the number of words that's also generated within the response. So here I've left it at 120, um, but you can say to give you more words or less words. So it really is up to you as to how concise or expanded you want the text to be. And then of course you can choose a language that you want it to give it to you in as well. So Unriddle do have a free plan that you can use and you can start to generate up to uh, 10 notes and you can chat to the documents completely for free. But if you do want to use the AI Assistant um, with an unlimited plan, then you can also get this for only $20 a month. And you can have unlimited chat messages and also up to 150 notes, which is actually quite a lot of notes. Um, so this would be probably what most of you might find useful. I really think Unriddle gives you that bridge between understanding and chatting and kind of interrogating documents asking questions about it understanding it in more depth and it also allows you to draft and kind of modify your text and improve it at the same time if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video let me know if you do try unriddle and the link will be in the description down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye